Today, Iraq's military pushed into the outskirts of Fallujah. Retaking the city is a top priority. It's been under ISIS control for over two years. Here's Charlie Daggett. Iraqi forces combined with Shiite militias pummeled suspected ISIS targets as they closed in. Commanders say ground forces backed by U.S.-led airstrikes have advanced to the city limits from three directions. But U.S. military sources in Baghdad told CBS News no Iraqi forces have managed to enter the city itself yet. The week-long offensive to retake the ISIS stronghold has now entered a new and dangerous phase. Only a few hundred residents have been able to escape. Tens of thousands more remain trapped, held hostage as human shields. Iraqi officials estimate that as many as 2,000 ISIS fighters are holed up in the city. When we were last with outstretched Iraqi forces outside Fallujah a few weeks ago, they told us their biggest fear was suicide truck bombs striking their fragile front lines. American forces know from experience taking Fallujah house by house won't come easy. In 2004, more than 80 U.S. troops died in some of the bloodiest battles they faced against Sunni insurgents. The latest assault on Fallujah came as dozens were killed in a new wave of terrorist attacks in Baghdad. ISIS has already claimed responsibility for a string of suicide bombings to strike the capital in recent weeks. U.S. military officials in Baghdad told us ISIS has yet to launch any significant counterattack, Elaine, but it was likely that militants were trying to draw forces into urban combat. Fallujah was the first city to fall to ISIS more than two years ago, and they're unlikely to give it up without a fight. Charlie Daggett reporting. Charlie, thanks.